Hello everybody. It's me, Aggie. I'm Agnes Friedlander with Artist Heart Studio and The Painter's Journey. And um, tonight I wanted to do a heart with you. Something like this. This is one that I did last year and I thought it'd be fun to go live and show you this. So I'm gonna give you all a few minutes before I get started, I'm gonna get my camera set up so that you can see everything. Uh, if it's your first time here, hello and welcome. Um, say hello, say where you're from. And uh, if it's not your first time here, say hello anyway. <laughs> say hello anyway, why not? Whoa. I don't think it wants to tighten right now. Hold on. I think I loosened it. I think I'm I'm tightening the wrong way. Let's see how that looks. Don't want this to all fall down. And I know I need to turn it right side up. Let's see. Hello, hello. Um, let's see, I know we're upside down, so let me fix that. How was your holiday, everybody? It was just a really nice, relaxing day here in Southern Wisconsin. 77 degrees, just absolutely a perfect, perfect, perfect day. I think I have the wrong temperature on this light. Hold on. Plus, 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 plus. Yeah, I got it super bright now. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Hello, hello. So, um, I think I'll just go ahead and get started, right? Let me see if I can find myself on my iPad over here. I'm just scrolling through, seeing if I can find my live. Tell me what you did today. What did you eat? We, my husband and I, we wanted to get an apple pie, but we waited too long. There were no apple pies. I mean, that's isn't that like sacrilegious? <laughs> we could not find an apple pie. Um, last night. All right, I'm still not finding my live. Oh, here I am. Sacrilegious. Oh, <laughs> turn the volume down. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see if comments are showing up. Has anyone commented? Oh, swipe left for comments, right? Um, yay, I see comments. Hello, hello. Sandy from North Dakota, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, awesome. So yeah, this is one that I did last year. And uh, I'm gonna turn it over and show you the back. This is a six by six inch ceramic tile that I got from Home Depot. I bought a whole box of them. So um, I'm sure you're familiar with Home Depot, right? They're all over. So um, I still have like a lot of them and I always forget about them because they're in the garage. <laughs> but um, what I did is I, the first thing I did, I put this cork on the back and I'm gonna show you that. I got it from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has these cork, adhesive cork sheets, which is really nice. And you can get two cuts out of this um, because it's, it's just about 12 inches wide. It's a little bit short, but that's okay. It's, it still works out just fine. So that's what I did um, on here. I've got, I've got one tile left that I'm gonna demo with you now. I'm gonna talk about how I did these two that are ready to resin, and I'm gonna demonstrate um, one more and um, give you some ideas on what you might do, because who doesn't love hearts, right? If you love hearts, comment below. <laughs> I mean, Especially, that's why I called my, um, my Facebook page Artist Heart Studio, because I'm an artist at heart and I love hearts. 
<laughs> Did you guys ever wonder why I called it that? Um, and that was one of the few names that was actually still available. It's a popular idea. Anyway, so yeah, get these from Dollar Tree and um, let's, you know what, let, let me demonstrate this first because if I take too long, my glue won't be dry in time for me to actually do the resin. So let me, let me jump into the demo first. I'm going to set this aside. And um, the first thing you want to do, like I said, put that, cut that out, trim that out with a nice sharp knife. And we're going to clean this first with isopropyl alcohol and uh, get a towel. And I am providing this this tracer if you don't have it comment below give me your email and I will send it to you I don't know if I shared that on this page or not I don't remember now but if you want it just give me your email you can private message me or uh, just comment below with your email if you'd like and I will send it to you via email so it's just a cute little um, heart that I made and it will fit perfectly on this six by six, okay? Now, you could trace it onto a canvas and paint it. You could do whatever you'd like. For what we're doing today, I'm using it as a kind of a visual guide, if you will. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna place it down as if it were, as if I were gonna put it here, but I'm not gonna put it there. And I'm gonna grab my Elmer's Clear School Glue and I'm gonna draw the other half of the heart while I'm looking at this half. <laughs> and, oh, let me tell you what I'm gonna do first. Um, this last design I'm gonna do, I came up with. I'm like, I don't know, here's what I'll do. I've got these um, glass seed, USA seed beads, they're called. It's literally called USA. This is six slash O glass seed beads by Bead Treasures, and I get these at Hobby Lobby. And um, when you go, to, you have to cut around with an X-Acto knife to, to get this to open up. And then what I usually do is pour these into a cup. And these are, um, these are what my neighbors used for shots during COVID. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Every time I was out walking my dog, it seems like the neighbors were all out having shots. I don't know how many times I walked by and they would offer me a shot. Anyway, so these are those just those little cups. <laughs> these are those little cups you get from the grocery store. Um, I pour it in there because it's more manageable when I'm dispensing. Okay, so I have that ready. Now, I don't know if you've got a couple of like hearts. I've had these for years. I don't remember. I think I got them in a vase filler, you know, with other gems. And I call them gems. Surely you guys know what I'm talking about. You've probably seen these at Hobby Lobby, right? They come in all kinds of different colors. I've got them in a jar. I call these gems, but they're basically um, glass cabochons. They are considered a vase filler. And I think one time when I bought it, it actually had these with it a long time ago. I'm dating myself. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was 20 years ago, seriously. So anyway, um, if you don't if you don't have these, maybe you've got some something else. You know, I don't know, but you need three little hearts, uh, three little stars. So they're going to be in the middle of my design. So let's just show you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put those three there in the middle. It's good to be odd, so I'm going to have three, and then I'm just going to fill the rest with my USA seed bead mixture. That's it. Nice simple one. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's get back to this. <laughs> Fold this in half, make sure it's centered. And you know, it, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna use popsicle sticks to reposition the beads. So this is, this is beginner friendly, don't worry. Don't you worry now. Well, there's all kinds of activity going out there, on out there. My neighbor is um, mowing. The, the back of my house backs up to a, a neighbor that's got, I don't know how many acres, but a large parcel. And when they mow, they really mow. 
they, they mow for hours. <laughs> but oh well, I, it, it, it has come to be a nice relaxing sound for me. <laughs> At least that's what I tell myself. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. And you know, don't worry if it's not perfect. And believe me, that's not something like that. Oh, okay. And uh, maybe I'll put a line down the center. What the heck? And then since I've got that, I'm gonna just reflect it on the other side as best I can. Maybe you don't even need a tracer. But for me, it kind of visually helps me to have that. And besides, you might not be doing this on tile. You might have another idea in mind. So um, putting this glue down is going to help us um, kind of stay in control a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put my these three stars down. Let's put a little bit on the back here. Maybe you've got um, little hearts or something, or even shells. Maybe you want to do a uh, something beachy to put shells in the middle or something like that. These might float around a little bit. Okay, so that's that looks pretty decent, right? Doesn't have to be perfect. Let's see if there's any comments so far. And if you've got any friends you think might be interested in this, please, uh, <laughs> Pam says shots make the walk smoother and faster. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, right? Okay, so I think I'm gonna put a little bit more glue in here. Not a lot, you don't want a ton because um, if you're gonna resin, you're gonna want this to be I'll put a little bit more in here really dry before you resin and normally i would i would even wait overnight but since i'm demoing this i'm gonna i'll do it a little bit quicker all right so they're gonna probably bounce around what you could do is kind of use your use a popsicle stick to kind of block the bounce <laughs> we want to prevent some of this bounce from happening if possible. So I discovered this little trick of just kind of holding that there. And then I'm gonna flatten it out. Oh, that'll be cute. Now I need some more. And you know, you can just kind of use your hand to prevent it from going all over the place. And again, I'm gonna flatten it out. And then I'm gonna tell you how I did the other two. But I have to get this going so that this glue can start drying. And I mean, wouldn't this be a fun little party to have with the kids or with some neighbors on the, on the deck on a nice day that's not too windy? <laughs> bit more. I'm trying to get them in sort of a single layer. So what's the best? Um, we're, we're heading into splashy summer in, uh, in my, my membership, The Painter's Journey, and we're going to be uh, sharing drink recipes. <laughs> so who's got, who's got them? Who's got a great drink recipe that they may have tried? over the holiday weekend. Anybody? I saw a great um, pineapple lemonade recipe I'm gonna share. 
but I'm gonna have to do more research because I'm really not up on my uh, on my drinks. Hey Anne, how are you? Okay. Push these around so that it's kind of a single layer. Cute, a little bit more. And of course, I only buy these when they're on sale. You know, which is what every other week, right? And of course, you can use anything. You can use your vase filler, you can use glitter. You don't even have to resin this if you're not if you're not a person that has done resin or you just don't, you know, you don't want to use resin, you really don't have to. This could totally be, you know, glitter or um, just just the glue, just leaving it glued, you know, like this. But um, I will say resin makes everything prettier. <laughs> Sure. Right, you guys? <laughs> if you're here, you probably are a resin fan. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So now with the popsicle stick, I can kind of shape this a little bit better. Right? They do want to stick to the popsicle stick. And I'm just going to kind of push them in a little bit. And we're going to be good to go. I mean, and that's really easy. I think the kids could do this no problem, right? All right. So there's that one. All right, we need something a little bit more, a couple more down at the bottom. Oops, they went everywhere but the bottom. <laughs> oh, that helped having a dark color for the very tippy tip. All right, so there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And um, we're just gonna let it be and let it dry. I, I, you know, hopefully it'll be dry enough for me to actually resin in a few minutes with you guys. Um, I started doing the other ones about maybe 45 minutes ago, so they're probably pretty dry. Now, the reason why it's so important is that um, if there's any, like, moisture, uh, the resin will cloud up and there's no fixing it. And I've never had that happen, so I don't want to have it happen. <laughs> <laughs> tonight live on camera that would not be fun <laughs> um, so there it is can I pick it up yay what do you think pretty pretty and you know what you could probably look on Amazon and see what they've got they might have glass stars or uh, who knows right have, have a look-see all right, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to put this up on my risers so that it's ready to go. Here, let's move this one off and talk about how we did this. Okay, so here's how we did this one, you guys. So easy. Now, have you seen the vase fillers at Michael's? And what I mean by vase filler is this stuff. It comes in these containers like this. Um, you know, this is a glass vase filler, but then there are the, um, finer pieces of glass and these won't even hurt you. They're, they're just really thin pieces and they're a uh, mirror on one side and they come in different colors, but I like to buy the silver and add my own color to it. And that's exactly what I did for this. So I used alcohol ink and, um, I used for my dark blue part, 
the Union part of the flag, I used about, I don't know, five drops of sailboat blue and maybe 10 drops of denim in a, you know, just in a little container like this, this is what's left, with about half a cup of the vase filler. So I put half a cup of vase filler in here, the silver kind. And then I added five or six drops of sailboat blue. This is Tim Jim Holtz alcohol ink and about 10 drops of denim. And then all you do is mix it around, you know, either with, you know, your stir stick or your finger. Be careful not to get alcohol ink on your finger and it has happened to me. I've had the <laughs> I've had the alcohol ink go through my gloves and it wind up with colored fingernails and that's not fun. It does go away, but it takes about a week. So you, you definitely don't want that to happen. <laughs> so, um, okay, that's how I made the blue. For the red, I did the same thing. I used the same silver vase filler, but I used Poppy Field. I think it's called Poppy Field. It's kind of covered up. I used Poppy Field and I probably used about eight drops of that, which was probably a little too much. It probably didn't need quite that much. And then just stir it around and it will be completely dry within two minutes or so, but keep moving it so that the air gets in it and helps it dry. All right, that's all I did. Then, you know, I put my glue down and you have to kind of carefully spoon it over there. I, basically what I did is I spooned it onto it with, with my, um, stir stick. I went like this and literally, um, popsicle stick. I literally placed it by the spoonful, if you will. And, and then I arranged it like I showed you. I just pushed it into place like by doing this. And so I did the blue first, then I did the red stripes. And then to fill in the white, here's what I used. I used six slash O crystal seed beads and these are so pretty they wind up looking really shimmery and silvery aren't they pretty now what you could do if you don't want to mess around with the vase filler and the alcohol ink you could just buy um, the seed beads and just do the whole thing with seed beads so let me show you i've got some blue and red even this kind of blue. Hold on, I'm grabbing them. So to give you a few ideas here. And like I say, these are awesome. When they're on sale, I go buy them. So here's what you could use for blue. Isn't this a really nice uh, mix? This is called Sapphire Multi. So there's different shades of blue. Some of them are pearlescent, some are opaque, but that's super pretty or maybe you would want this one called Sapphire, and these are really gorgeous. That could be your for the Union part of the flag, and it really does look like the blue for the flag. I didn't have the right seed bead size in the red. These are small, this is 12 slash O, so in my opinion, it would not have looked right with, you know, mixing the red, the 12 slash O with the six slash O size. I, I would want them all to be the same size and I didn't have that size. So that's why I didn't do this. But you could buy it and do it and do it. Um, this is called dark red and I'm sure they'll have it in, in this, you know, all in the same size. Now um, here's their white, it's called snow. And this the same thing, it's similar to the Sapphire Multi. So it's basically different, um, opacities there's like a translucent an opaque and actually that's all there is there's per oh pearl opaque and translucent whites in here so it's very very pretty um, there's also solid white all opaque um, that might be more to your liking so that's what that looks like just all solid white this one's called white opaque <laughs> Or you could use silver for your white. Here's silver in size eight slash O. So they come in different sizes and silver looks good as a substitute for white. I actually love using silver for white. That's what I did, uh, you know, on, on this, obviously I used silver metallic glass for the white stripes and it, it looks fine. 
All right, so that's another idea of what you could do for this. Um, okay, any questions on that, you guys? Yes, uh, Terry, I used school glue, clear school glue by Elmer's. Any clear school glue will be fine. Now this is water-based, so you have to make sure it's completely dry before you resin. All right, so let me get all these back out of the way. And I'm gonna show you how I did the other one. And, and you know, you don't, you don't even have to do red, white, and blue. You know, you could do whatever colors you want. You could do a rainbow. Ooh, how about a rainbow heart? That would look pretty awesome. All right, so here's the other one I did. Now this is cut glass. Put this one over here. All right, so this one's a little bit more complicated. So this might be for someone who is not an absolute beginner um, because although it's not, it's, it's not that hard, but you may not have your tile nippers. So here's what I used. I used tile nippers and they do sell these at Hobby Lobby and they have these round blades. They're not sharp, but um, it's the pressure of the, it's the pressure of this that cuts it, I guess you could say. Um, so that's what I did. I cut several different things. Here's my tray of red, and I've got, you know, a tray of white and a tray of blue. So that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a glass hunter. <laughs> I collect glass. I'm always looking for broken glass. By the way, if you live in southern Wisconsin and you have broken glass, DM me. <laughs> I'll take it. So um, these are some things, uh, like this was a mason jar. I really lucked out when I found these. They're so pretty, metallic red mason jars. And this was just a red vase that I cut up into small pieces, just a red vase. And um, for the white, I, I got this actually from Hobby Lobby. Um, I can show it to you. It was a little candle holder thing. Oh, I don't know where I put it. Oh, here it is. And it, these do break funny because, you know, the way they make them. But I bought this on sale. Um, it's normally $10, which is kind of high for this little thing. But of course, I bought it half price. And I really didn't use much of it at all, as you can see. I still have plenty that I could do a lot more with. And it kind of crumbles, but it sure is pretty. So that's that's part of what I used from Hobby Lobby. Set it back on the shelf. The other thing you could use is clear glass. You don't have to use white, you know, but here are some white cups that I cut up, you know, like milk glass cups. You could use clear glass, this clear glass. Sometimes clear glass has a green tinge to it, but that might look really cool if you're doing a beachy heart. That would look really cool. I wanna do a beachy heart, actually. You could even use, you know, flat glass, stained glass, and cut it up into pieces. So, um, but for that, you would need a different kind of cutter. So that's another story for another day. But anyway, um, that's some white, and then for the blue, here's my tray of blue glass. You can use wine bottles. Uh, again, candle holders, uh, even plates. Um, one thing that I got was a Pyrex bowl, and if, if you get Pyrex, you gotta be careful because it will literally do this. It won't cut, I mean, because it's, it's a, um, what do you call? It's the kind of glass that's made to crumble like this so that it won't hurt you. Um, and I'm forgetting what they call it. Do you have to seal it to keep it from running in the resin? You know what, Jean? So I have had a lot of good luck with my resin not running, but that's not always the case. It depends on your resin. Uh, and so to be perfectly safe, you should seal it and you, you would use Kmar varnish. 
K-A-M-A-R, Kmar varnish in a spray can. I'm all out of it. And of course, Hobby Lobby was closed today, so I couldn't go get it. But yes, you, you could spray seal it. But you know what? I thought, here's what I thought. <laughs> and this might sound a little bit goofy, but I'm an artist, so it's okay. <laughs> um, if it does run, it would, it would be on this one, right? I feel like if it runs on here, I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world, to tell you the truth. I think it might look kind of cool. So seriously, I don't think I'll mind if it runs. But what I did do, um, there is a little bit of it running right here from the glue. And uh, what, what I did to get rid of that is I just grabbed a Q-tip, put some, sprayed some isopropyl alcohol on the Q-tip and wiped at it. And, but because it was, um, the glue was still wet when I put that, the, um, the red vase filler down, and that was still wet. So I, I, I rushed a little bit and that's why I actually colored the little bit of glue that's sitting right there, but honestly, I don't even mind it. Um, so yeah, great question. To, to be really safe, you would want to spray seal it. And I guess what I would do is um, I, I would probably Put, the, put the, all of it down like this, and then I would get the Kmar varnish and spray it. And you have to spray it lightly with probably three coats. It's a pain. <laughs> but that, that would be how I would do that. Something so, with all these little parts like that, that, that's the only way I can think that you could seal it. So anyway, that is, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to show you. I wanted to ask your opinion though. So look at these little beads. I love the beads. I love looking for beads. There's little hearts and stars in here. Do you think I should put some hearts and stars in the blue part of this, of this one? Give me your opinion. Tell me what you think. Tempered, thank you. Yes, it's called tempered glass. And it goes boom. Yeah, Wilson, thank you for saying that. Um, Wilson knows because I'm, I'm sure, well, have you gone through that yet, Wilson? I bet you have. <laughs> I was at a workshop down in Florida, um, and I, I was just so preoccupied with what I was doing. I wasn't thinking about it, and I picked up something. I couldn't tell it was Pyrex. It wasn't Pyrex, but it was tempered glass. I picked up a bowl and went and, and went at it with my, with the nippers, and Boom, it made a loud boom and glass went everywhere. But you know, we were in a studio where it's okay for that to happen. But um, my friend that was with me literally jumped out of her skin. <laughs> she was quite frightened by it. Um, so tell me what you think, should I add these on top? Brandy says yes, Wilson says oh yes. Okay, so uh, again, these, these have these annoying, the annoying tape on here. I don't know why I taped that. So let me get my knife and get an exacto knife. Cut this open. And what do you think, you guys? Um, do you think the glue is dry enough? I put that glue on there about, well, it's 6.30 now. So I'm just cutting this with a knife. Um, actually, it's probably easier to open the bottom, to tell you the truth. I realized that one day, but I'm kind of committed here. And I, this is what I wind up, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it from the bottom. And I need a little jar to put this in. So let me go grab a jar. Well, I guess I don't have to do that right now. Let me, uh, here, let me just get some of these out of here. Ah, don't you hate it? I hate it when I can't open things. Um, to be honest, that's one thing I hated about some of the brands of acrylic paint. Like if you have to sit there forever getting your paint out, it's just so frustrating. <laughs> okay, so here, we got it open. Let's get some of these out of here. Let's get some stars. Oh, they're really cute actually, wow. Okay, so Oh, yeah, baby. 
I think so. <laughs> it's cute, right? Um, I don't know how many I should put. Should I put them in a circle? So many questions, so many decisions. And sometimes you have one really honking big piece that it's just too noticeable. So get that one out of there because he's too noticeable. <laughs> Notice how I made it a guy. <laughs> okay. Um, I, I hope this, you know what, when there's, when there's this many, who's, people aren't really gonna count and it's not gonna signify anything, right? Hopefully. I counted them, there's nine. <laughs> Um, let's make it 10. I don't know what the 10 stands for. Don't ask. All right. What do you think? 10? Is that okay? Um, oh, you did the same thing, Cindy. Seed bead tubes are the worst to open. I know you got to get that exacto knife out. Scared the living daylights out of me. I know, right? You love the stars on it? Good, good, good. Okay, that helped, right? We just love blinging it up, don't we, ladies? I don't know, maybe one more. <laughs> Make it 11 stars. Maybe I should do 13 for the 13 colonies. Should I? 11, may as well. There's 12. One more. And I ran out. I'm going to get one more star out of here. Is that too many now? See, it's a group, it's a group effort. <laughs> All right, so who's got, who, what was the most interesting drink beverage that you, that you had over the holiday weekend? Anything, you guys? Or were you just good and stuck to water? Did you try a new beer or a new wine or do uh, do you even drink alcohol? Maybe you don't. I, I, I barely drink anymore, to be honest. Uh, recount, did I count wrong? <laughs> I think 13 is great, Janessa says. Uh, Capri Sun, <laughs> that's about it, all right? 14 stars, really? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, oh, you're right, 14. Um, we want 13, right? I don't know. Okay, so what do you think about dryness? Do you think these are this is dry enough? I guess I can try touching it with my finger. Oh, and you know what? I do have another kind of star. I found some really nice stars on Amazon. Um, I don't know where those are at the moment. Does that look okay? This is the kind of thing you can fiddle with forever, right, you guys? <laughs> fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. All right, I gotta seal that up later. Put this away, put this away. Does anybody else have a hard time remembering to put things away? <laughs> it's like when I'm done with a live, I look around, it's like, oh my goodness, what a mess. <laughs> okay, and again, if you need this tracer, I will happily send it to you. Just give me your email. Um, I gave it to the members, I think, um, yesterday. And again, the tiles are from Home Depot. And they're, I think I just looked it up a few minutes ago. They're about $1.70 each. So that's not bad, right? Okay, gotta stop. All right, let's see if I can touch one of these and see if it's dry. Oh, somebody has a drink. Strawberry soaked it. Oh, I know. Oh, a wine slushy, sparkling ice blackberry. That sounds really good. Blackberry lemon drops. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we're we're heading into um well that does feel dry. Splashy summer. Oh, this is still wet. Yeah, that's still wet. I can't do that one. Uh, do you guys want to see me do the resin or should I come back on and do them when I can do all three? I can do two of them. I just can't. I don't think I should do that one. Do you even want to see me do the resin? I always buy tiles when they have them on clearance. Yeah, great idea. It's water. It's a water? Okay. What you drank? The blackberry? No. Wilson was talking about sparkling ice. Yeah, sparkling ice is a water. <laughs> Still sounds good. <laughs> all right. Um, shoot, I wanted to do all three together. Arr. What should I do, guys? Should I come back on and do all three at the same time? Or um, should I go ahead and just do two of them? Now, I want, I use KS Resin, and KS Resin um, wants you to do a minimum, I'm gonna turn the camera up, if I can loosen this properly. Hello, my, my light switch went off. I'm gonna turn you back right side up. Hi, <laughs> turn the light back on. Um, hi, hi, hi. So yeah, um, KS Resin wants you to do a minimum of two ounces. They don't want you to do one ounce mixes. Did you guys know that? A mix of one ounce is not um, advisable, according to them. I'm drinking pineapple flavored water. Now we're just talking about what we're drinking. <laughs> um, so yeah, you need about an ounce and a quarter of mixed resin for each one of these. So that's why I was gonna do, I have three, so I was gonna do four ounces of resin total. I think I should come back on and do them all at the same time. What do you think? What do you think, you guys? I can come back on tomorrow and do it. And meanwhile, if you have any questions at all, if you're new here and you've never done resin, let me just say, that's what we do in my group. We take you through uh, everything, everything about resin. I've got a basic 101 included in the membership resin 101 it's called and we are all resin people we all everyone in the membership we have 106 members now so excited and we all use resin so we're here to help you um what else can i say jean says to wait okay i'm gonna wait make them all at once okay yeah i don't drink soda yeah i stopped drinking soda too I, I have to try that ice. I have to try that. My husband gave me a, um, we've been trying a lot of different waters lately with, you know, with the flavors. He works at Costco, so sometimes he comes home with all kinds of cool flavors. And there's, there's this one with the real bitter aftertaste in it that I can't stand. It has a weird sweetener. I forgot what the sweetener is called, but that one I can never stand. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's what we'll do, you guys. Let me take you out of the mount and show you from another perspective what everything looks like. And um, like I say, if you're new here and you're looking for some resin sisters, I never use that term, sisters, um, you're looking for a community of uh, supportive artists to be with you on your journey, we are an awesome group of ladies. Such fabulous support. Oh, really, really great ladies, I'm so blessed. We'd love to have you. It's only $29 a month. I've been doing quite a bit of promoting the last couple of days because we're heading into summer. It's a great time to kick back and make some fun stuff. We're gonna do a turtle. We're gonna do an octopus. We're gonna do, what all are we doing, you guys? Jean just, just joined. Yeah, we're gonna do a mermaid. We're gonna do, oh my goodness, so many, so many, a crab, a whale. That's why it's called Splashy Summer. So I can't wait. Uh, I, I just rolled out the tracers today for the um, sea turtle. What did you guys think? Janet says crab. I have to I have to say Aggie teaches so much and does awesome. Oh, thank you, Cindy. You're so sweet to say that. Hey, Christina. Christina, you took the sunflowers class. You should join us, girl. If you if you have time, a lot of people don't necessarily have time for all the projects. Of course, you don't have to do everything that we do. But anyway, you love the turtle? Okay, good. 
Um, all right, I was gonna turn the camera around and I got to talking, so let me do that. Let's see, where is that? Here's my crazy, messy studio. My flag is over there. My flag is over 25 pounds. It was too heavy for me to lift and put up there. Ah, Christina, you're a busy lady. That's okay. <laughs> so I, I well, let me just show you guys. I brought down, I brought down the, um, this I had in my bedroom, the Monet Bridge. I'm going to put the Monet Bridge there, okay? And I'm going to put the flag next to it there. That's another, pro I want to do, um, I want to embellish those flowers I got from Hobby Lobby. I want to do that with you guys. And I had this, uh, the glistening pines I had there, but it's kind of a wintry scene. That's why I wanted to change it out. This one here is the palm trees. I just released that as a, like an additional bonus class. And wouldn't it be fun to do that one this, this fall, maybe the happy camper. So anyway, this is our beachy vibe. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. So back over here, this is my crazy, messy studio. Yes, I need to clean it up. So here's what it looks like. We're gonna resin this, and this, and this, all three of them, okay? Oh, thank you, Christina. Wait, there's a question. I was looking for the first sunflower project this afternoon. Um, oh, it's in the other sunflowers group. There's two sunflower groups, Wilson. Uh, Aggie's sunflowers in glass and resin. Um, so if you still don't find it, message me and I'll, I'll help you find it. Or if you have a picture, send me the picture and then it's easier for me to, to find stuff if I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, your birthday's the 4th of July. My birthday is June 30th. So this is my birthday month we're heading into. So yeah, you were born on the 4th of July. How cool. Another cancer baby. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so when should I come back and do this, you guys? How about tomorrow at the same time? Tomorrow is Tuesday, right? Is today Monday? I'm like so messed up. Um, <laughs> how about tomorrow at the same time, six o'clock? You're July 16th, another, Jan another cancer baby. Yay. Okay, so tomorrow night, same time. If I, I'm dying to resin these, but I'll do them. I'll do them with you guys. We'll do it live on here. Okay, it's a date. And uh, oh, I wanted to show you um, if you're, again, anybody else that's new here. This is the class we just finished. And I just posted a bunch of cool pictures of it. Isn't it awesome? This is the betta fish. What do you think? You can hear her mowing. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. And uh, one of the members already did it and it looks so incredibly awesome. So, and it just made me so excited. I bought a piece of glass this weekend on my little trip to do that one. Yay! Christina wants to do that. Yep. Well, like I say, Christina, it's only 29 to join. But, you know, you know, you know, you know that girl. All right. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Share this with your friends, please. There might be other friends that want to uh, join us, and I would love, love, love to, uh, to have them. You're going to make shards? Yay, Janet. All right, you guys. Have a fabulous night. Thank you so much for being here. Talk to you later. See you tomorrow at 6. Bye.